Previously on the gaming car crash. Oh, could we re can we rescue this from the clutches of defeat? We do actually have the minions to get through that bloody thing now. Uh, at least for the moment. If you uh, oh, for fuck's sake! Hello there campers, my name is Paul Hughes, I am the Lord of Leisure, and welcome to part two of the Miniature Warfare Tavern Brawl video type malarkey things that I've been doing on the channel recently. Yeah, I really did play it that much. And last time you saw us lose and then win a bit and then lose again while playing as a shaman, 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 shaman. This time, of course... We're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I decided, when everyone was playing Mage, Priest, and uh, Paladin decks, I decided it would be a little bit strange and go Warlock. Let's have a gander at that, shall we? So, just to recap what the Miniature Warfare Tavern Brawl is, all your minions, no matter who they are, what they are, who they fight for, who they fight against, who they're in love with... Oh, Slamour. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck that's coming from. But anyway, no matter what your minions are, they will only cost one mana, but unfortunately the downside is they only have one attack, and of course, one health. It's ones all around. So therefore you're having to be a wee bit more sneaky sneaky about all this stuff, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Um, you have to take into account the battle cries, the daff rattles, and potentially any buffs or abilities that each of those minions may be able to achieve. Combine that with spells, and potentially you're laughing, or as you saw in part one, potentially crying. So for this time round, we actually tried a warlock deck. Now, again, it's sort of keeping away from the usual magey bollocks, where obviously their hero power can just instantly kill whatever you put down. I wanted to see if it would work, frankly, and for the most part, actually, you know, actually, you'll just you'll just see uh, uh, when you you come to the next part of the video. Oh dear! First of all, Mortal Coil. Basically, you get to deal one damage to a minion if that kills it. Draw a card. This is an entire brawl of one-one minions. Yeah, you're gonna get free card draw out of it. That's pretty damn sweet. Power overwhelming, give a minion plus four plus four until end of turn, then it dies horribly. Why would we have this in? Well, just wait and see. Blood Imp, of course. This ordinarily can't fight, you know, to save its life, but this time it can. It's a 1-1 instead of a 0-1. And also has the added bonus of adding plus one to other people on the board. Reliqua- Reliqua- The Seeker I can't pronounce if I've won mana, and this is a very rarely played card, simply because it's so rare you're going to have six minions on the board. But if you do, it's a hell of a buff that you get off it, so why the hell not? Voidwalker? Figured, why not? It'd be a bit of um, holding back the tide, as it were, unless uh, you, someone, you know, does some area of effect clear, in which case it's about as useful as a chocolate fire god. But then, what if we have something to buff up later? Ooh, we'll get to those in a minute. Just have to curse and reform! Yes, you just chuck this out, and then your opponent takes two damage until they actually piss away two mana to play the thing and get rid of it. It's just something to delay the other side. And I figured if mana was going to be a little bit more plentiful, just try and start limiting uh, the other side. Demon Fire and Demon Fuse, both of them are buffs, so, but ordinarily you wouldn't, you wouldn't really play Demon Fuse because it gives your opponent a mana crystal. But for this purpose, the fact that mana is going to be so plentiful anyway, it's kind of, well, who cares? Screw it. Let's give some minions some longevity just with the buffs. Why not? Mistress of Pain, this is the heal machine. And if you could buff this up, obviously every time it attacks, it heals you for the same amount. It is lovely. Void Terrors, if you get some uh, really nasty beasties on the board, like I'm going to say later on, you can instantly, if you if you do it right, you put down two Dread Steeds, which will always come back unless they're silenced, of course. And then it's always a 3-3 regardless. Nice. 
can't argue with that at all. Implosion! This is to actually clear some minions that might actually increase in size. And you need some bodies on the board yourself. You may as well try and get as many uh, demons on the board. Why not get some imps and to lock around and also to use your buffs with? It kind of made sense. Dreadsteed is the absolute powerhouse behind uh, this uh, deck. Simply because Tavern Brawl 1-1, one, one, these bastards stay on the board. The only way to get rid of them is silence. Other than that, every time you use them, you're guaranteed to clear something. And then you've got fighters back in the, back in the fight the very next turn. Also, bear in mind this works ridiculously well. With power overwhelming, you turn the Dreadsteed into a 5-5, do your damage, but oh dear, it dies and then comes back and then you can use it again for some more shenanigans. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Bane of Doom. This deals two damage to a character and if it kills it, summons a random demon. Basically, for the vast majority of time, you're going to get an extra body on the board for this. It is fine mana though, so it's not necessarily the best thing in the world, but for this Tavern Brawl, I figured, why the hell not? Demon Heart! This is the ultra buff! Oh, also, I should say, Demon Fuse, uh, no, sorry, Demon Fire and um, Demon Heart. You can also deal damage to a, uh, opponents should you uh, need to, but more often than not, you're going to want to keep these cards to buff up. And Demon Heart plus 5 plus 5, that's absolutely amazing, especially for later on where we get to the real nuggets of the matter. Where we see Floating Watcher. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Bear in mind, your car your hero power will cause you damage. And therefore, you can get the Floating Watcher down. And also, even just as early as turn 3, you can start really getting that to spin out of control. Oh, just an absolute wonderful card. Dread Infernal, two of those. They are area of effect clears, basically. Deals one damage to all characters. Yeah, can't argue with that, actually. And finally, Malganus, which buffs up all the demons that possibly you have put down with to basically be at least a 3-3, if not, they're not higher at the point. But we're gonna that's obviously gonna be a target instantly. So therefore you're gonna want to buff that up with either the demon fuse, demon fire, or indeed, of course, demon heart. And then it becomes quite difficult for your opponent to get rid of that. So all in all, this is the warlock duck that we're going with. Let's see how it gets on, shall we? Okay, we're playing against Crystyle, who is being a roguish, puckish rogue. We have not seen a rogue uh, that often in the brawl. That, that's quite a nice change. And looks like we're going to uh, turn two. So we've got, actually, that's pretty evil. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to not play anything first turn. Because then, you will see why it is quite evil. That is quite evil in itself. Alex Straws is straight out the gate. Bloody hell. Uh, right, okay. So, yeah. I may need to answer this al already, depending on what he's going to do. For the moment, I'm just going to put the taunt down. And wait until next turn. Because what it is, I want to do the Dread Infernal, but we're both floating watchers in my hand. Oh, and there it goes. And then, oop. Yep. Okie dokie. So, now we get to we get to see some lovely action here. So, floating watcher out. Floating watcher out. Coin into Dread Infernal. There we go, and at least now we can start catching up because we are way behind now simply because of that Alex Straza. Brilliant first turn play though. And a 15 damage card no matter what happens. Ridiculously. The earlier on the better. What are you going to be playing? What are you thinking? Oh, you're getting rid of the Dread Infernal now, aren't you? And then... Micro Machine, absolutely beautiful actually. Raid Leader comes out and Sinister Strike. He's rushing me down. Chris Style is rushing me down. Oh dear, dear, dear. Uh, this is going badly already. 
Yeah. Yes, you do. I've got no choice in the matter. There we go. At least now it's it's slightly out of uh, damage range. But he is... Chris Style, basically, with Alexstrasza, has got me on the clock massively already. It is... Yeah, it's a massive pain in the ass. And there's nothing I can do about it. I've just got to get bodies on the board and just start hitting. There we go, at least it's a 3-3, but it depends. If, if he clears the board, that's it. We're absolutely done. He's got five mana as well. What's he? Raid leader? Okay, so he is starting to play something again. And what to accompany it? Abusive Sergeant, which is odd. Okay. Right, this is kind of odd now. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to Bane of Doom one of them. And then get rid of the Raid Leader. And then hit, start hitting again in the face. How have we got momentum here? We shouldn't have momentum. What's he saving up in his hand? I don't understand. Abusive Sergeant again, which is n no good this turn. Right. Really, really odd. But one thing, one thing's for certain though, we do have to clear out his side of the deck. His side of the board, I should say. And then, use of Sergeant, chuck you in, and start chucking you in, and that will do for the moment. Just hope those buffs go somewhere. Okay, kind of, uh, kind of bad it goes on the Dreadsteed, to be uh, honest. Sprint, he's looking for answers to get me, and he could have the answer in his uh, in his hand, and therefore I've got to do something next turn. Oh, thank you! Unbelievable! We rescue that from absolutely a terrible start. That Alex Straza was incredible first go. Really was. And our next contestant against the Warlock deck is... Ingorek. Why not? Ingorek. <laughs> well, keep the Dread Infernal. That's always fantastic board clear. And we get two spells which are of no use to us. Ah, this is bad. And we're up against a druid as well. They're sneaky, sneaky bastards. Basically, oh, hello, Blingtron. That is massively unexpected. <laughs> um, okay, well, okay. Uh, if it's, is it a mech? I, I don't know. I, ooh. Okay, seems we got an extra charge over him. Let's just take something out and then just reduce that to a 1-3. And for the moment, we're just going to life tap. See if we can get something better. We don't. Just a reliquy seeker. Reli... 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 Thing. <laughs> Why can't I speak? <laughs> we got a seeker in our hand. Okay, we got Malganus. That's going to be absolutely gorgeous later on. Um, we've got the Demon Heart. We're going to want to start setting up some lies, treachery, and deceit, in all honesty. But we don't want to just chuck out anything willy-nilly. So, I'm going to life tap again. And we get the Dreadsteed. Happy with that. Yeah, we'll keep that. And, and I'll tell you what. We're going to pop the shield. So then he's forced to deal with it. 
Born in Gorek. You see, I can say in Gorek, I can't say bloody Rilli... Rilli... Rilliquary... Rilli... Ah, oh, I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible. I can't pronounce if I my correct to word if I's. Oh, and there it goes. And... Yep, there goes my dread steed. My dread steed. The fact that he's running silence at all is it that that is a little bit of a concern, uh, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to dread infernal this right now, and then force some hits to the face. And for the moment. We're also going to buff that up as well. I know we'd be better off on the Malganus, but not just not right now. And we've still got one swing there. We'll take it. Why not? Because then he can't even use the uh, cog hammer to get rid of that. He, he has to answer this. Shape shift. And is he going for face? No, explosive sheep. He's going to get rid of it. No! Oh, it's an... Of course, the mech and... Oh... Balls. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, now, do we actually want to... Yeah, this is the problem here. We might have to just get rid of... No, actually... No, hey, 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 get back, 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 you. Yeah, we're going to just have to clear it. We'll take the one damage. And what we're going to do, we're going to get the floating watcher out and life tap. And then that makes that a 3-3. Three, three, and I tell you what, let's make that a 6-6. Six, six. Let's really give him pause the thought here. Next turn, we can definitely do Malganus to turn that into a 6-6 six, six as well. Unstable Ghoul. One damage to all minions. And... He's hitting for the face. Fine, no worries at all. Actually pretty happy at that. So before we actually... I tell you what, we'll put down the other... No, 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 no. Back it up, Sparky. There we go. And get rid of that. And then... Malganus. And Demon Heart. There we go. We got a 6-6 six, six and an 8-6 on the board. That's... That's better. We're in a, a, a better position here. Ingorek now. What's he gonna do? Wrath. Who's he damaging? He's damaging the Floating Watcher and getting card draw out of it, actually. Echoing Ooze? You could probably buff that up. What do you have? Ah, plus four health and taunt. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. In fact, the, the fact that there'll be two of them as well, that is going to be evil. Absolutely evil. Two two sixes. That that really stops me in my tracks. Fair play. Got no issue with that. Um, but, 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 um the thing is, obviously, while Manganus is alive, he's not going to be getting any bigger. So we're going to go demon fire on him, and we're going to get some free card draw. Void terror again. Um. Let's actually buff up Malganus as well. Let's not take the chance. And I tell you what, Dreadsteed. Yeah. It's pretty an evil board. The thing is, the Floating Watcher, I dare say, is what he's going to concentrate on. Oh, Abomination! Deal two damage to War Minions! Oh! Um, ok, 
Okay. Uh, actually, that works in my favor. Hang on. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's just get that, and do, 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 do. let's actually put the bl no, 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 hit first, and then, there we go, that's back, and then start putting some puppies down, there we are, lovely, and actually, void terror, no, ah, I put it in the wrong place, put it in the wrong place, um, Let's put down the floating watcher, just regardless, and start hitting. Boom! Boom! We could have actually had a lethal. Thinking about it? Oh, yes, dopey bastard. Oh, and that just goes on the floating watcher as well. This is a complete. That's complete bullshit. Living roots. Dealing two damage to get rid of. There you go, and he's gone straight into Malganus, and he's conceding. Well played, Gorik. In Gorik. Well played, Eagle. Okay, we're up against Mr. Bait, as opposed to anything else. <laughs> cough, cough. Okay, in our opening hand we have two demon hearts, a floating watcher, and a dread steed. We're gonna toss both demon hearts and see if we can get any other minions uh, for turn one. Not bad, actually. With the mage, this is actually gonna be hello. pretty sweet. I I'm gonna say hello to Mr. Bait as well. How are you doing, Mr. Bait? Oh, Shaden Axe Ramus. It is one of the best ones to actually do. Luckily, though, I'm not letting that go out of control. And you know what? We're going to put down the Blood Imp, so then it climbs just outside of uh, ping range. There you go. So, 1-2 uh, Dread Inferno will survive at least the Fire Blast. Oh, Hobgoblin and Alex Strasser again? Oh, bollocks. Malganus may come in to save the day, ridiculously. Okay, Doki. Right. Um, Malganus. And the Dreadsteed. And we are just going to have to get rid of Alex Strasser. And the Hobgoblin. And the uh, extra uh, health has gone on the Dreadsteed. We're wanted on the Dread Infernal. The thing is... Oh, Malganus, actually. He's going to go now. That's it. They all drop down. Have you got anything better in your hand? Ah, oh, Arcane Missiles. That's going to be fantastic area of effect. Shit. Okay, Floating Watch here, and we're going to just have to life tap. There we go. Keep At least keep some... Alex Straza is really bloody good in this brawl. Really bloody good. There's nothing I can do about that, either. Everything really is against me on this one. Uh, I need I need bodies on the board now. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of one of these taunts. Three. That'll that'll do me. I'm happy with that. Grand. And let's see what he does. Cause turn five, I've got I've got options at least. All he has to do, though, is area of effect or something like that, and I'm I'm pretty much boned, though. Turn six is Blizzard, if he's got it, in which case it clears the vast majority of the board and would leave these two... Well, oh. actually, the Dreadsteed would die, but then come back so it wouldn't be frozen. Yeah. That, that was pretty bad, actually. All things considered, unless it was just because he wanted to... Mm, possibly here. 
I think we're just gonna have to uh, summon something. That'll do. And start hitting again in the face. That fell guard actually is quite handy because now if he's gonna put anything on the board, yeah, I and mean, we can demon fire that too. He's just he's just whittling down that now. Oh, really? You bastard! You utter, utter bastard! Uh, okay, okay. So we definitely get rid of one of those. And we're just going to have to put the flo other floating watcher down. Life tap, which is very dodgy in this situation. And thank you, Void Walker. Oh, that is beautiful. And we can demon fire that as well. Yes. Oh, God. Why are we always going to the bloody wire with this? I really need some heals, either antique heal bot or something like that. Uh, uh What? Why'd you concede? You were winning! Okay, we're playing Fly Bison against the Paladin. They've got some bloody good options, uh, the Paladin, especially in this brawl. And I've suffered immensely at the hands of them. Okay, we got Blood Imp, Demon Heart, Dread Infernal, Mistress of Pain. I'm going to get rid of the Demon Heart. Actually, keep the others. Let's see what we get. Demon Fuse. Okay, so we've got some potential options. Depending on what he chucks out from turn one. Anything? Fly Bison? What you playing? He's still got his Christmas Behold, stuff up. Oh, he's still got his Christmas wind. decks up. Ah, uh, Stormwind Champion. That's actually bloody good on this uh, brawl. Especially given the fact everything else will just get automatically buffed as well. That's, uh, that is grand. Uh, okay, so do we want to get rid of that now? Uh, I think we do. This is a waste, unfortunately, of a clear, but we have to. And I tell you what, we will then also make sure that thing doesn't die as well. There we go. Seems to be the decent start, you know. <laughs> what? What? Okay, what the genuine fuck? Versus Warlock, this is going to be excellent. Fulem! Uh, we're playing against. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Right, we got Malganus in our hand, Mortal Coil, Demon Fuse, and Void Walker. I am actually keeping that. And let's see what his hand comes out with. Fugan! Shockingly enough. Okay, we're just going to more call that, I guess. And I tell you what, we will hold on to the coin for the moment. We're going to we're going to build up uh options for later on, I think. It'll be better. Starlick. Really? Okay then. Why not? If if that's if that's where you want to go with it, sure thing. Uh, I tell you what, what we will we will hold off. We will hold off again. Let him have his turn with Starlig. Seriously, when he gets that one one out, he's gonna be a bit upset. Yeah, by all means, make that a 2-2. No issue at all. Okay, Floating Watcher. Okay, we've got four mana this turn. What can we do with it? Yeah, first of all, the Taunt. Let's do Malganus out now. Coin. 
into demon fuse. Let's make sure Malganus can stay alive for a little bit. So we got a 4-4 and a 3-3. You can probably use... You'll probably just life tap and then make sure that uh, old Starlick here trades in quite nicely. Piloted Sky Golem. Pretty decent shout. Any minion that's been uh, summoning others, that's been a pretty decent shout. I've got a huge Storm Pike Commando and... I see Lower Theb. Life Tap. And they're all going to get buffs. Actually, fair play, actually. That's that's pretty sweet. And then... And then we get the 1-1 one, one Thaddeus out of it. <laughs> right, well, first off, we're going to life tap. See if we get anything better. We do. We get old... Bl we get a blood imp out of it. And you know what? We'll also put Floating Watcher down. And we'll get rid of him. Because he is going to be... He is no longer going to be a thorn in our side. He's not buffing up anything more. We are going to lose... Oh! Yeah, well, we're going to lose Malganus for sure, regardless here. Sadly. Oh! Why did you... Have you got something to do three damage against? Because otherwise, that's completely inefficient. Okay, evil heckler. Fairly decent taunt. Yeah, he's just... He's kind of just... Wasted that. I don't understand. Okay. Wobbling runs. And a life tap again. That was really weird. Why would you do that? I've got a huge... Stormpike Commando coming out and destroys it. Okay, so fairly clean board. Blood Imp. Uh, we can destroy a character, which we will do. And it's a Void Caller! <laughs> um, that's actually really odd. Because uh, it'll summon even the Blood Imp or the Void Terror just as is. Sludge, Sludge Belcher, actually pretty decent shout here. Can't argue with that. That would probably have been the thing I should have uh, actually... Oh, and the Grand Crusader at a random... That's... Th yeah, I like that. And it's a secret. He got a Paladin secret out of it. The, oh, the cheeky little bastard. Yeah, that really worked out well for him. Um, right, what we're going to do, though, is Demon Fuse, Blood Imp, reduce his health to one. Repentance! <laughs> okay, fine, no worries. And I tell you what. We will uh, get rid of that. And we will leave that be for the moment, uh, actually. Let's just see what health buffs we get. They all went on the Void Caller. Okay, then. Is he just going to continue hitting me in the face with these 1-1s uh, one -ones or what? I'm surprised he wouldn't... He'd be better off running in the wobbling runs. Ah, there's the Frost Wolf Warlord. Yeah, now you got something decent on the board to, for me to worry about. Yep, that was that's a good shout. Uh, unfortunately, power overwhelming doesn't work here. I'd have to power overwhelming one of these puppies. We're going to have to concentrate getting through Behold, this wall of... of oh, bollocks. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This is bad. I'm going to have to actually life tap here. 
Ooh, hang on. Demon fire and then power overwhelming will actually get rid of the frost, frost wolf, but then we're going to get absolutely battered here. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. It's clear we've got to do something here. Um... So many possibilities. Yeah. Well, I've, I'm afraid it's going to have to be this very bad trade. Very bad trade. Right, okay, we will get rid of both of these. Get rid of him. And then put out the Reliquy Seeker. This is terrible, by the way. That was that is that was a pretty awful trade, all things considered. Oh my God! And Kelthazard. Oh, that is wonderful stuff for few lame. Wonderful. Uh, which one of these are gonna go? I'd be amazed if all of them didn't. Yep, there's that one gone and. Given the fact they will come back as well, I have to deal with Kelfazard, and then I can deal with the Stormwind Champion. <sighs> He's just gone for the face. Oh, but then of course his Stormwind Champion comes back. Yeah, that's pretty smart. That 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 works out quite well. And Chromagus! Oh, it's just a wall of legendaries! Oh, wait! He didn't get it! Oh! He did not get his... That's terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. He's got permanently seven damage on the board right now. And getting copies of cards. This is an awesome board that he's got right now. There he goes. Just keep whittling them down. Yep. And again. And they're all going to come back as well. Oh no, not now. Okay. Those are very good. Oh dear. And he got a copy of whatever that was as well. Oh, I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm going to lose. The only way I survive is if I pull out a Dread Infernal. That is literally the only way. Oh no, I've lost! Bloody hell! Those Krakens came out of nowhere! Ah, yeah, play for you, lame. Oh. Warlock versus Warlock is horrible! We're playing against Keith Hong! Hey, Keith, how's it going? And we're, we're going first again, it's a big pants! The, the one I can't pronounce, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna keep both Mortal Coils in my hand for board clear. And we get Demon Fuse, it's just spells, it's bollocks! Blood Imp, however, will save the day. Thank you. Oh, thank God for that. Priests have some really bad spells for... Oh, Questing Adventurer. This has been coming out a hell of a lot in this brawl. Because it just spirals out of control so quickly. And... Yeah. Um... I'm a little bit boned, actually. I'm going to have to actually take that out. And then... I have to. I've got, no, I've got no choice there. The questing adventurer would just get completely out of control if I've left that on the board. And there's Mortal Coil. The one card he needed out of my hand. And then just... You bastard! Mind Vision again. It's either going to have Mortal Coil or Dread Infernal, uh, unfortunately. So, we're going to Mortal Coil this. My Axner, we weren't going to leave on the board far from it. And we're going to put down Dreadsteed. 
And we're gonna put down Void Walker as well. well. Let's just have a little bit of room for keeping El Priesty out of the bay, out of bay, at bay, Ig bay, at bay, Ig bay. Oh, upgraded repair bot. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, we're gonna mortal coil that. Just see what we get. We get Malganus. That's not a bad shout, but all he has to do is just, if he has the Dread Infernal, he'd be able to definitely get rid of it. However, that does buff it up. We've got nothing to buff it up with. I think Power Overwhelming, and we actually make sure we get rid of it. There we go, and I tell you what, we're going to Life Tap for an extra card, so we've got something Bane of Doom. Yeah, it's a bit rubbish. But there we go. And we lose our 5-4. But we still have the 1-1 one, one on the board. So that's something. At least next turn we do have some removal anyway. Aha! Dread Infernal! See? See? That is worked out beautifully. Thought that was going to be the case. Really did. Other Void Walker coming out. And I tell you what. We're gonna do that. There we go, and we got an extra piece of. Well, we got an extra demon on the board, flame imp as well. Wasn't was never gonna be uh, in the deck simply because look at that, the deal three damage. Why the hell would you do that? It's a terrible one one for that, especially with the, the one one stats. Me and nothing in the hand. What is he doing? Is he got Holy Nova or Light Bomb or something for turn six? And that's why he's not playing anything. He's he's wanting to bait me out, I think. I wonder. I think we do Void Walker and Demon Heart on that. Let's bait him out on that. And just stop his you know, any attack to the face with that. And let's see what he does. What you doing, Keith? What are you thinking? You've got seven mana, and you let me have a free turn then. What have you got in your deck? What have you got? I will fiddle with the background while you decide. Because I have nothing interesting to say or do. Because I'm recording this at half past twelve at night, and I should be asleep. There's the Holy Nova! Okay. So that's one piece of removal, uh, right. Shall I tell you what? We're gonna put down the floating watcher, and we're gonna do the dread infernal. There we go, and we'll life tap as well. There we are, and then just hit. Four, six in the face. I want to keep hold of Malganus just on the off chance. Fort Steel. And what if what have you stolen from me? Implosion. Oh, and it stays alive. Oh, that's really bad. And a void terror. That's also pretty bad, actually. He, get, he does get a 3-3 three, three out of it. But, uh, oh, we've got, we've, yeah, okay, we've got Malganus now. We can do something about this. Let, let's, yeah. What the hell? Let's make sure this puppy can actually live. And we can do power overwhelming as well. You know what? Right. Three... Six. Fourteen. We can, we can rush him. Yeah. Screw it. Let's rush him down. In the most stupid way possible. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
my reliance on maps there may not have worked out for the best. Um, I really should learn how to count properly and quickly. Uh, I'm such a failure as a human being. Well, campers, Warlock wasn't actually too bad, was it? Except that Warlock versus Warlock game. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible mirror. Thank you all very much for indulging me on my little Hearthstone binge again. You know, I, I know. I played the game far too much. And every time I start waning off it, they just pull me back in. It's just, it, it, it really is digital crack cocaine to me. I'm so sorry. I... I, I can't explain it. I, I'm sick. Help me. I have a disease. <laughs> anyway. Wow, that was a sudden mood change. Um, <laughs> I need to get out more. Or less. Whichever way, it's not the right amount. Thank you all very much for joining me on these couple of Hearthstone videos. Of course, on the YouTube channel there is vastly much more shit that's there for your dining and dancing pleasure. Ooh, sometimes .com, of course, for all Witten bullshit. Witten? How about written bullshit? Yes. Either way, it's a word I can't pronounce if I correct it, Jude. And, of course, occasionally we do live streams on Twitch. Well, which don't really look that clever, to be frank. But, you know, you do what you can with the uploads you get. Until next time, campers. I'll see you all. Uh, like wearing something sexy i'll be wearing a lovely flower and you know we'll go on a lovely date we'll have some pie until then bye